Hello, in this video we are going to learn how to make element-to-element -element links in SuperMemo. These ones. I'll add the link to this page in the description. And we're going to open SuperMemo now. The first step is we visit the elements that we want to be later linked to. We're going to add the elements that we want to later link to. So. Then I'm going to press Shift of 10 in the element window. I'm going to press C to select concepts. Then we're going to press R for create a link. I'm going to do this a little bit more slowly. Shift of 10. Now I'm going to do the mouse. I'll use the mouse. This is why we press C because CC is unaligned. And then we are going to press create link. Well, I already just did that. We press Shift F10 because Shift F10 opens this menu, which is the same as pressing right click here. But pressing Shift F10 is faster. Now we're going to select the next element. What is the shibboleth? Select the element window and we're going to press Shift F10. That was Shift 11. We're going to press Shift F10. Press C and then we're going to press R for create link. If we now take a look at the link registry, we will see two elements in here. What is a shibboleth and what is a Trojan horse? These two elements are filed under ancient history where they belong. Now when we review elements in computer security and we notice that we made this item and we think what is a shibboleth? Well it's a single sign-on system and well what is it reference to? Doesn't that remind us of something? Something in ancient history? With the Bible and Gilead and the Ephraimites? Well, it might remind us of that. And in order for SuperMemo to take this into account for the purposes of neural review, we can make an element link. So we are going to press Shift of 10, press C for concept, and we're gonna press E for link element. And now we are going to select this element here. If we remove this string here, we'd see all the things that are already here added. And we are going to move on. In, in computer security attack vectors, we are seeing the element, what is a Trojan horse? Well. That reminds us of the ancient history of Troy, where a Trojan horse played a pivotal role. And we're going to also make an element link for better learning this later with the review algorithm. Press the link element. We are going to... Why is there a 7? I have no idea. I can know that now. Yes! Right. This is for element element links. Now let us move on to concept links. We are going to modern history and then we're going to Haiti and we are going to Toussaint Louverture. And we are thinking to ourselves, hey, Toussaint Louverture, isn't that. isn't he kind of like Spartacus? I mean, he led a slave revolt, Toussaint Louverture, and Spartacus also led a slave revolt in ancient Rome. So Spartacus is very important to our knowledge tree and it's a concept and has lots of elements below it. So this time we are going to make a concept link. We're going to press Shift F10, Concepts, and we're going to press L for link concepts. Now we are going to select Spartacus. And we're going to see if that actually worked. Link concept. Going to select Spartacus. Let's press space here to toggle it. And click enter for accepting this concept link. Concept has already been linked. Well, apparently before it worked. Whatever. And that is neural review. Well, laying the foundations. The review process looks a little bit different. This is just so that when we later do neural review, we have a perfect, pretty graph in place. So the spreading activation algorithm can like work its magic through it. All right.